Nothing will ever be 100% balance. When you go through life, there will be different seasons within your life. And it is okay to, during one season, focus on being a great mom. It's okay to focus on other areas in your life. I'm so excited. It's plumbing. Plumbing. I can feel it tingle. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to go over five YouTubers that I watch on a weekly basis that stand out to me for my mental health. And of course, everybody will have different YouTubers or different qualities within people on YouTube that they like to watch. And mine is kind of geared towards, I think, happiness. All five of these people, maybe not one of them, because one of them is kind of like pure entertainment, I think. And the rest of them, the other four, for sure have that quality of happiness and it just stands out. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first YouTuber is Bailey Sarian and she does murder mystery and makeup mostly and there's a couple other videos in there and playlists that she does but my favorite is a murder mystery and it's probably what she's known for and she has over 255 million views for her whole channel all right and these reasons are in no order of course it's just what I had wrote down so the first thing I have wrote down that I noticed right away about her is that when she talks about the crime and the whole story and the sequence of things, she goes about it with a little bit of sensitivity, which I like because of how rough the topic could be. I mean, some of these are about people who passed away, like that's difficult. And it's about real people with real life stories. The second thing that I like is that she's very detailed in her descriptions when she goes about these stories and sometimes there's like very small details like the research and time and effort she must put into those videos I now understand is a lot. I <laughs> can't wait to use the blues in this palette. Mm. I love it. The struggle is real. The third thing is what makes me feel like I watch her for entertainment, but except for this. Her voice is so soft and soothing. I I love it. Her the sound of her voice kind of calms me down. And it's weird because I know sometimes most of the time she's talking about murder. Ugh. I don't know. Okay. Next, we have Amber Scholl. She does do-it-yourself fashion, bougie on a budget, and shopping sprees. She vlogs a little bit, but she mainly does her bougie on a budget. And she has over 445 million views on her channel. Number one, I wrote down that her level of high energy is very uplifting, which I get could come off annoying to some people, so I understand that, but I'm personally drawn towards it. Um, I think I'm a little high energy. So when I see in other people, I just feed off of it. I absolutely love when somebody is so in the moment, happy, loud, don't care what anybody else thinks, just does whatever they wanna do. I love it. It screams, I'm happy, I'm joyful, and I don't care what you think of me. I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyways. Second thing that I like <laughs> is that she's unapologetically herself. She gives no hesitation. When she goes out in public, she wears what she wants to wear, she dances in the stores, and sometimes she even sings and does these weird little dances. It's so funny. And I feel like if she had one wish to be granted, for the entire population, 
she would want to give everybody confidence. People being confident in themselves is such a quality I feel like a lot of people don't have. I myself, I'm trying to do better with my confidence. If you are confident in yourself, you're unstoppable. I get to play in makeup because I want to get better, especially with my left eye. I don't know what it is about these creases over here. It's just so many fine lines and they settle into those lines and I can't get the eyeshadow out. And then when I do, it's like wrinkly lines going like this where it's lighter than the rest of the skin around it. And the third thing about Amber Shaw is that, is that every few videos, she puts in a positive message or she reminds you to be confident within yourself or she's telling you even if you have a bad day or if you are having a bad day look for the positive it's little inspirational moments like that that i really like about these youtubers and in one of her videos it's called how i've been feeling i think and she opens up and she talks about she doesn't want to always show her being happy and excited and confident so she opened up about it it was a really good video to watch and she's just a little bit different i like different okay so youtuber number three her name is jessica she mainly does mom life stuff pregnancy because she now has two kids and life experience and sometimes advice she also has over 8 million views on her whole channel. First quality that I liked is she is open and honest and raw about everything she does and talks about. And she's very relatable, very relatable to me. So in my opinion, relatable to me. She might not be relatable to everyone or most, but I feel like she would be relatable to some. I feel like I can walk next door and she would be my neighbor, my mom friend. My second is that she gives really good advice or she makes you aware of things. The advice she gave in one of her mom videos, it was called, I don't like being a mom or I didn't like being a mom, dot, dot, dot. It was one of those. I think she did it a year or two ago. That one I feel like was a good one to watch because she opens up about what it was like being a mom for the first time with her first kid and how hard it was. I feel like when you see moms on social media, they can kind of come off like they have it all together and it's easy and it's loving and it's joyful, which is true for some, but not for all. And I think she really stuck up for the moms that really had a hard time. I feel like this advice would definitely be in my top five i stuck to it like glue for sure so she talks about when you go through life there will be different seasons within your life and it is okay to during one season focus on being a great mom and the other ones get somewhat of good attention somewhat different attention and another season you might want to be a photographer or a YouTuber, or you want to go to school part-time for something, and that is your season within that subject within your life. And that it's okay to focus on one thing and give more of your attention to that. I feel like this piece of advice is very important. Right now in my life, I feel like I'm focusing a lot on YouTube and photography. And it's not like I don't give my kids or husband attention, but I may give YouTube and photography a little bit more attention because that's what I'm passionate about right now. And that is okay. It is normal, normal. Nothing will ever be 100% balance. It just, it's impossible. Well, I shouldn't say impossible. Maybe some people have found that balance, who knows? But I personally cannot give myself 10% here, 10% there, 10% there. I can't evenly spread myself out like that with all the different hats that I wear. And I choose to give photography and YouTube more attention. And I feel like the part of balance is don't feel guilty because you want to put more attention 
on something different and go ahead and put yourself first. You deserve it. You deserve it. And the third thing that I like about her is her other video, which is called 10 Days in a Mental Hospital. And she goes on and she talks about how she was feeling sad and depressed and she literally physically felt sick inside and she didn't know how to communicate that. So her husband and her did some research and she went to a kind of like a therapy group, she said, and she didn't have to stay there like in the facility. She just would go every single day and listening to her open up and be so honest and raw is amazing. She talks about how she lost her job and wasn't working at her job anymore. She moved to Spain with her husband, had a baby, all within the same time period. I want to say within like a one to two year span. And she said it affected her without her realizing it. Again, I won't go into her whole story, but it's amazing. Her outcome, she, when you watch her new videos, you can tell she feels more light. I love it. I feel like it's worth watching. She's amazing. Okay, next up on the list is, of course, Kathleen Lights. I absolutely love, obviously, all of these <laughs> YouTubers. And she is the CEO of Lights Lacquer and Lights Label. And one, the first one is her nail polish and the second one does like mugs, phone cases. I think I've seen clothes on there, a bunch of different stuff. And she has over 615 million views on her channel. First thing I have wrote down for her is, I think she is funny. She's quirky and funny. And that's like my favorite. And every now and then she does accents out of nowhere. I love that. And I know it's weird, but there's one thing she does when she's explaining or trying to describe a pricey item. And she says, that's expensive. It's not expensive, it's expensive. I, I don't know, it's a thing. You just gotta go listen to it. <laughs> and for number two, she stays simple. She kind of gives me an old school vibe in everything she does. The way she films, she doesn't have a lot of stuff going on. She'll use her ring light, her camera, that's it. Is still in a bedroom. She kind of stays relatable in a way. And she also has an obsession over Zodiac anything. So I love that too. And the third thing that I love about her is her last video where she opens up about her mental health and how she has anxiety and OCD and even goes into some of the stories and some of the rituals she had that she had to do whenever she left the house or was driving. She gives a bunch of different examples and I think that could be very helpful for some people out there. And I'm proud of her for taking that small step and changing her phone case. She said it was one of her OCD habits where she had to keep the same phone case and the same wallpaper and lock screen on her phone and she changed her cell phone screen and it may seem small but that small detail could mean a whole universe to somebody and my favorite part about that video that she does is that because she changed her phone case she's like telling herself well, maybe when X, Y, or Z happens, nothing bad will happen. It's, and maybe things aren't as bad as what she makes it out to be. And she overcomes it a little bit. So to see that progress was really cool. It's crazy how so many people are dealing with something that is a main issue and not a lot of people are talking about it. Again, I love it when people upload about their mental health. So obviously. And the fifth YouTuber is Isabel Age. She focuses on you finding your inner light and inner peace. I love that. If you go to her about section, it literally says that. And you can tell by her recent videos. And her channel has over 20 million views. <sighs> wow. 
If I could sum her up into one word, it would be magical. I, I don't know how else to explain her. You have to watch her. She's open, she's happy, she's honest, but simple. She finds joy in the small things. You can tell she's content. You can tell she's truly happy in her life. The second thing that I like about her is that she makes her interests a priority. So she loves to do yoga, she loves to run through the mountains because her house is on top of a mountain and she recently got done building her tiny house and she just loves to dance and run through these mountains. It, like I don't know how else to explain it. She even bathes in the river. She'll bring her oils, her soaps, and she takes a refreshing bath in the river. I, like, what? <laughs> it just seems so different. She is so different, unlike any other YouTuber I've seen, for sure. She stands out 100%. And her interests include dancing in the mountains, like I said, <laughs> yoga, cooking, she loves to make food, which her style is a little bit different, so I want to do some research on that and try to cook like her one day. It seems difficult, but her food looks good. Anyways, so she also plays instruments. She plays a guitar and she plays this um, drum thing and anytime she taps on the side, the front, the back, whatever it is, it makes a different high pitched sound. It's really cool. And she likes to read books and watch the sun come up and go down. And the fact that she makes that a priority and takes her time doing her activities, it's a breath of fresh air. And the third thing that I like is in one of her recent videos, she labels her videos and it's story number 49, something about daily routine. And she talks about how she doesn't live her life structured anymore. And she kind of just goes with the flow. Whatever she's in the mood for, that's what she does. And she says she's able to live in the moment more. So I've definitely tried to adapt that. And I'm already that way with my cleaning, so I wanna try to do that in other areas of my life too. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, she says she stops trying to control everything. I feel like control is a big thing that people have. We try to control everything and sometimes you just gotta learn to let go as hard as it is. You just have to take a step back and maybe go outside and dance in the rain, which she also does that too. That's a good video. She is one of a kind, for sure. <laughs> All right, so I guess that wraps up this video. I hope I was able to shed some light on five other YouTubers maybe no one is talking about or watching and spread a little bit more information. I really hope I don't come off anxious in these videos. I just have a long list. I have a long list of all my videos. I have my planner right here. All my videos are planned out every Friday. So I know what I'm filming. I just have so many ideas and I can only do one video at a time. <laughs> so yeah, this channel, it will be a slow start, I feel like. And I'm super ecstatic for the future of my channel and i feel i just i just started this like not too long ago i want to do a bunch or not a bunch a wide variety of different types of videos so if you want let me know if you guys have any suggestions i will add it to my list for sure because i don't mind taking suggestions but all right i think that's it don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. You know that moment when you open an eyeshadow palette and you're scared when you finally open it up, you feel like you're going to dig your nail and scoop out the eyeshadow? Ooh, I hate that. Mm.
Look how cute she is. I love her. Yes, I watch her for in it for 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 <laughs> for I don't know what's happening. Her voice. Her voice is so soft and so soothing. <laughs> that leads into my second thing I like. Second quality, second feature. And one of her videos in particularly, particularly, specifically, in that video, oh my gosh, all this is gonna be so choppy. <sighs> this is not smoky. <laughs> this is my version of smoky, I think. <laughs> and I, uh, for no, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she makes whore, whore. Oh gosh. Oh, that was good. 